Damascus says al-Qaeda is involved in terrorist attacks in Syria with the support of the United States. Syria says the methods and choices of targets in terror attacks across the country are evidence of al-Qaeda's involvement. It says al-Qaeda-led terrorism in Syria is being funded by Saudi Arabia and Qatar and supported by the West and especially the United States. Syria says the support and funding for al-Qaeda is aimed at derailing the peace plan brokered by UN Arab League envoy Kofi Annan. The government of Syria is accusing the um, al-Qaeda of working uh, with the USA. And those of us who know our history would say that they very well could be right. Uh, Al-Qaeda is, well, the word means the base, and it originated as a database of Arab Mujahideen who were fighting for us in Afghanistan, trying to drive the Russians out in the 1980s. And since then, that database of uh, mostly Wahhabi, uh, but actually people from all over the Arab world, uh, has been used by the CIA and the U.S. in fights against Russian interests. An armed gang affiliated with al-Qaeda has claimed responsibility for the deadly blast that hit Damascus on Friday. Al-Nusra Front said it was behind the blast that killed almost a dozen people near a mosque in Damascus's Midan neighborhood. The same group has claimed responsibility for previous similar attacks in Damascus and Aleppo. Meanwhile, the head of the UN Observer Force in Syria, Major General Robert Mood, calls on all sides in Syria to stop violence. The Norwegian says cessation of armed violence is essential for full implementation of Anand's six-point plan. Al-Qaeda-led attacks in Syria continue unabated despite armed groups' pledge to observe the truce. This as the United States, Saudi Arabia and Qatar have publicly admitted funding anti-government gunmen and providing them with communication equipment. Experts say the West wants to use the continued violence in Syria as a pretext to launch a military attack against the country. Where an aggressive power has deliberately fomented terrorism, violence and upheaval inside a country and then turned around and used that as an excuse to attack the country and to partition it, to divide it, and ultimately to extinguish it from the map. And this is, of course, the, uh, the way that Hitler treated Czechoslovakia in 1938.